Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. I hope it's a good day where you are. It's a real good day where Granny B is. Are you remembering to be kind to those people around you? Of course you are. How about at bedtime? Are you being kind at bedtime? When you get told it's time to get ready for bed, do you just hop right to it and get your bath and get your snack and get tucked in? Or do you try to get out of going to bed? Hmm. This guy in this book I'm going to read, he's got a pretty good imagination at bedtime. So let's, let's look at all the ways he tries to get out of going for bed. Now, this is one of those what not to do at bedtime stories. So, you just enjoy it, but please don't try it. You'll just have people mad at you, and we don't want to do that. No. Just Go to Bed is written by Mercer Meyer, and it's all about this little guy's imagination. I'm a cowboy, and I round up cows. I can lasso anything. Dad says, it's time for the cowboy to come inside and get ready for bed. Looks like he lassoed his dad. <laughs> He's pretty good. I'm a general, and I have to stop the enemy army with my tank. Dad says it's time for the general to take a bath. I'm a space cadet, and I zoom to the moon. I capture a robot with my ray gun. Dad says... The giant robot has captured the space cadet and is going to put him in the bathtub right now. I'm a sea monster attacking a ship. Dad says it's time for the sea monster to have a snack. I'm a zookeeper feeding my hungry animals. Dad says, feeding time is over. Here are the zookeeper's pajamas. I'm a super critter flying over the city. I'm a train engineer being chased by bandits. Dad says, the bandit chief has caught you, so put on your pajamas but I'm a race car driver and I just speed away. Dad says, the race is over. Now put on these pajamas and go to bed. I am a bunny hopping around my garden. Dad says, just go to bed. But I'm a bunny, and bunnies don't sleep in a bed. Mom says, shh. Dad says, go to sleep. Well, maybe a tired bunny could sleep in a bed just this once. Well, I'd be tired too if I spent all that time trying to get out of going to bed. <laughs> Now you remember, those are things not to do at bedtime. And Granny B's probably gonna get in a little bit of trouble for reading you that story. <laughs> but I want you to know, Granny B loves you and Granny B wants you to get rested so that you have a good day tomorrow. So please don't act like that at bedtime. Please just do what you're supposed to do at bedtime and get your bath and your snack and your pajamas on and get all tucked in for the next day. And your day will be better if you get plenty of rest. So you remember now, Granny B loves you. 
and Granny B wants you to come back and see her again real soon, and I'll just bet you Granny B will read you another story. Okay? Bye-bye.